Hey everyone, today I will go over the questions on gross domestic product. The first question is about the definition of GDP or gross domestic product. This is the value of all final goods and services produced in an economy within a period of time. This is going to be this one. The next one, final goods or services used to compute GDP, refer to goods and services that are purchased by the final buyers. Question 3, the expenditure measure of GDP accounting adds together. So this is GDP. So here we can say this GDP is a combination of C, this stands for consumption, then we have I, this one stands for gross investment, then the G part, this one stands for government expenses, and then we have this X minus M part that stands for trade balance or x is the notation for exports that's what the book uses and m is for imports so you'd see some books are using i instead of m but the idea is x minus m exports minus imports that is the trade balance and all of this are included in the expenditure method of GDP calculation. Next one, consumption is the purchase of goods and services by households. Then question five, we have which of the following are most likely classified by economists as consumer durable goods that have a lifespan, so durable goods have a lifespan of greater than three years. I would say here I have automobiles, furniture. These are example of consumer durable goods. All right, so question six, something is a, is a small category that refers to goods produced by one business that have yet to be sold to consumers and are either still sitting in warehouses or on store shelves. These are called inventories, okay? To avoid double counting, statisticians just count the final goods and services in the computation of gross domestic product. So these are, you would, you would find this concept of double counting in the GDP notes. All right, question A, which of the following is included in the calculated, I would say in the calculation of gross domestic product. Quest, uh, choice A, Farmer Freddy sells his second tractor to his son. No used goods are not included in GDP calculation because this is a used good. We only include new goods and services in the GDP calculation. So likewise, this is not gonna be included To This one's not included either. So C is the answer to this question. All right. Question number nine, which of the following is not included in GDP? Uh, A is included, B is not included. Question C, replacement of brake pads on your six year old vehicle. So I would make the assumption in the exam, it will be clearly stated the replacement of new brake pads because if something's old that's that's not included in the gdp calculation ah uh, this one is 
included fees for legal services rendered by your lawyer so other than goods services like services of fees to your lawyer dental services medical services spa services all are included in the gdp calculation question is asking what is not included in the gdp calculation definitely the answer is going to be b something that's not reported is not included in gdp calculation question 10 investment includes what the amount spent on new factory machinery equipments 11 import excess exports then what do we have so uh, the GDP calculation we had exports minus imports and if these are equal we say we have a trade balance but let's say my exports are 90 million dollars my imports are 100 million dollars so here i have a trade deficit of 10 million dollars on the other hand if exports were greater than imports we would say we have a trade surplus now question 12 which of the following statements is true GDP includes spending on recreation, recreation and travel, but it does not cover leisure time. That's right. Now, question number 13. Here we have to do some math. And I will write down the formula for you. Here, the question is asking us, the real GDP is 3668 billion, price index 112 the nominal gdp is approximately how how much so i will just take out my calculator when i'm doing this problem all right so the definition is this price index this one is also called the gdp deflator so this is the formula here that's the price index this is equal to the nominal gross domestic product over the real gross domestic product and the whole thing multiplied times 100 so we can cross multiply here i'm going to write nominal gross domestic product is equal to the price index times the real already i don't it's not letting me write here let me see I can just make this bigger oh that's okay all right price index i'm going to multiply this times the real gross domestic product divide the whole thing over 100 so i have 112 just plugging in the numbers here times 3668 over 100 I just want to put these numbers in the calculator here and see what's the result I'm getting divided by 100. So I have 4108.24. So this comes out to be 4108.24. So approximately 4108 billion dollars. This is how you solve problems like this. All right, I'm just going to take this thing off. Just leave the formula and I'm going to take the calculation off.
let you do it by yourself. Question 14, we have a two quadrant graph with time on the horizontal axis and nominal and real gross domestic product on the vertical axis. So the year 2000 must be the base year of the GDP price index. This is because only in the base year we have the nominal gross domestic product equal to the real gross domestic product okay and whenever two graphs are cutting each other that means the values are going to be equal so i just want to go ahead and write down the definition of nominal and real gross domestic product because this is what you are going to need for question 15 question 16 and question 17 so pretty much all of the other questions you need the definition so this nominal gross domestic product this one is defined as the current year price times the current year quantity this is how we define the nominal gross domestic product okay so that's the definition of this one the nominal now i'm going to define the definition of real gross domestic product this one is defined as the base year price times the current year quantity so what is really common for both is the current year quantity so this thing the current year quantity this is going to be equal to this so that's common for both what really differs is the current year price and that's the base year price so whenever we are looking at the base year so only for this one which is the base year the current year price this is going to be equal to the base year price okay now if you go to the right of this year 2000 i would say here to the right of year 2000 nominal gdp is greater than real gdp so over this whole section i will have this is not part of the question but i just want you to know this one i have the current year price to be greater than the base year price because the nominal is greater than the real now if i look at this part instead what i see is the real gross domestic product is greater than the nominal gross domestic product so over this part i have the base year price this one is greater than the current year price only when this two intersect current year price is equal to base year price and 
as well as nominal GDP is equal to the real gross domestic product. All right, let's do this three questions. That's going to make this difference easier to understand. So we have a table here for question 15. We have years one to five. We have units of output, Q, that's the notation, price per unit, notation is P. Now the question is telling me the accompanying panning table gives price and output data over a five year period for an economy that produces only one good, fair enough. Year two is the base year then real gdp in year five is how much all right so i have this one this year is my base year so this is gonna be the base year and i gotta find the real gdp for year five so this real gdp for year five is equal to the base year price with that i multiply by base year price i mean the year two price with that i multiply the current year quantity that means the year five quantity so this base year price is three dollars here times this one 20 so here is 60 but if the question was asking you to find the nominal gross domestic product in year five instead this would be not the base year price but the current year price times the current year quantity so the current year price is six dollars current year quantity is 20 so this would have been 120 so these are the differences between real gdp calculation and nominal gdp calculation now question number 16 i like this question i love this question because they just asked us to do something different uh the accompanying table gives the price and output for an economy that produces only one good year two is still the base year so the percentage increase in real gdp from year two to year four is how much all right I need two things here. I need the real GDP in year two. I know this is the base year and this is gonna be the base year price. So this is still the base year. So base year is also, if I look at year two here, the base year is also the current year. So this is gonna be I'm trying to find the real gross domestic product in year two. This will be $3 times 10. This is equal to $30. Now I want to find this one, the real gross domestic product for year four. So year four is not the base year. So I'm still going to use the year two price. So this is $3 times I have 18. So this is, let me just see here. Yeah, this should be 54. Just making sure. Yes, this is 54 here. Looks good. Now, what's the 
percentage increase in real gross domestic product. So there is a formula here. This is new value minus old value over the old value, the whole thing times 100. So no matter what they're asking you to do, whenever they ask you to do the percentage increase, this is always going to be the new value minus old value over old value times 100. So by new value, we mean the year for GDP old value is the year to gross domestic product over the old value that is again the year to gross domestic product whole thing times 100 writing down the numbers here 54 minus 30 over 30 times 100 this is going to be 80%. So that's the answer to my question. Okay. Now we have the last question here. Uh, let's see. I assume that year two is the base year still. Year four, they're asking us to find the nominal GDP right now for year four. So to find out the nominal GDP, this is going to be current year price times the, multiply this by the current year quantity. So basically just multiplying eight times five here. So five times, sorry, 18 times five. this is equal to 90. I know yet to is the base year here, but I did not really use the information in calculating the year for nominal gross domestic product. That's it. Hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much.